Bishop Kabi man uh, deserves commendation. He's a man of honor and integrity. Mockery should not be made of him as if they dumped him. I've been telling pastors. See, see, Nigerians, Bishop Abioye needs us now. This is the time where all of us need to add Bishop Abioye in our prayers. In fact, and welcome this my die-hard follower. Welcome to Spotlight YouTube. Okay, guys, welcome back to this channel again. Um, into this topic, we've been discussing what's going on on social media. There's something trending right now, and it's about Living Faith Church. The two of the prominent men of God, two of the bishops that resign. I'm not sure they are just two relation in the church right now that sets a maximum of 55 years. Am I correct? Is it 55 or 58? Okay, but whichever it is, two age limit for you serving as pastors and bishop. So step down once you have reached this age. So of course, Bishop David Abiyomi is 63 years right now, and Bishop Thomas Aremu is 67. These are two people, you know, who are part of the pillars of Living Faith Church. Now, why is this um, this stepping down a topic on social media? Why are people lamenting? They are not lamenting because of Thomas Aremu. They are lamenting because of Bishop David Abiyomi, who has been with Bishop David Oyedepo since even before the church actually began. And people are not too happy about that because. Um, the revelation does not affect the general overseer who is um, David Oyedepo, but it has to affect the vice president. So it seems like it doesn't make sense to people. Um, before I give my own honest opinion and analysis on what is going on on social media, I need you to know if you don't know who Bishop Abiyoye is, let me show a clip of what how um, Bishop David Oyedepo introduced him, of course. Good afternoon and welcome. Is my die hard follower, Asan, ordained to stand by me. I came from the foundation of the world. Amen. Now, he has been with me before the mandate was delivered. So he came earlier than the mandate. He must be part of the mandate that God ordained. He's gone with me on motorbike. He's gone ahead with me running to where I'm coming to let him know I'm coming home. Not that I'm not coming. And he has partaken of every bit of grace that God has made available to this commission. Amen. It's never cost me pain. Oh. Yes, yeah. There are people who have not only caused pain. If they have a way of taking my life, they will take it. Join me in welcome Bishop David Abuye as he takes him. So it's no longer news that Bishop. Abiyoye is a diehard follower of Bishop David Oyedepo and um, he has been dedicated, he's one of the person that Bishop Oyedepo trusts, okay, and he is one person that, from what he's from all the statements, he's one person that has not caused him pain, okay. Now, um, regardless of all of this, let's hear what um, Dr. Apoki has to say, it seems like he knows the two uh, men of God, very well. He was able to say and hear his own advice to you know the public. I want to talk about David Bishop Abiyoye's retirement from the Living Faith Church. The first next Bishop Oyedepo in 1985 or 86 at the Living World Training Center. He was wearing one shoe made by Lindsay, a shoe company like Bata. I was wearing the same kind of shoe. And he was talking of millions, then he was in Cardinal talking of his vision. I said in my mind, this is a highly motivated person, a very purposeful person, a very intentional person, and he will be a strict disciplinarian. I subsequently slept in his guest house at Gowon Estates. When he moved to his new house, I saw him, I told myself, this is a very enterprising person, rubbish, and a very frugal person. Now, then I went to Shinan Bank, he walked under, I saw what for 40 years. And for him to have worked under him without scandal, without rebelling, without destroying the system. He must be a very serious minded person. He must have served very well. He must be very sincere within human limitations and committed to his leader. It is very difficult to work under somebody who is visionary, who is frugal, who is it's focused, who is over the years. People should always ask my work and uh, deserves commendation. Man of honor and integrity. Mockery should not be made of him as if they don't care to worship. 
I've been telling you know, past but since I started going around, I said, Look, boy, big denomination around and you to plan for your exit. You can belong to a big denomination, it is not a reflection of your blessing. And my wife would say, Don't plant a bottle in another person's ministry. That is to say, if you plant a bottle, the bottle won't grow. So you go to a ministry to serve, to serve God. But you must have an exit plan. You must use your experience, use your exposure, use your network, use your education to build the future. You can write books, you can do CDs, you can do uh, broadcasts as I'm doing. I'm reaching the world. My denomination cannot stop me. I'm making impact globally. My denomination cannot stop me. Train your children, empower your wife, set up businesses that will not disturb your ministry. Don't steal from your denomination. Don't be rude to your leader. The resultant effect is that you will steal that. When you are retired, you have something to fall back on. Retirement is not a death sentence. It is just a retirement. And so when you are serving the denomination, don't be carried away by the titles. Don't be carried away by the delusion of anointing. Anointing is like wine. It just be shaking you and you won't sit down to plan. So plan for your exit. Now one of the best I'm things that, that video for you. When I was what people, there are several of them. I don't want to start transacting my this content. Now to make this content not too long. I want to make it as short as as possible. Uh a moment, please. See, see, Nigerians, Bishop Abioye miss us now. This is the time where all of us need to add Bishop Abioye in our prayers. In fact, Bishop Abioye need to wake up every day. They attend Jerry as a service. What God cannot do does not exist because what he only for one do Abioye. So we are not happy. Christians all over the world are not happy. Winners members all over the world, Living Faith Church members are all over the world are not happy. I be foundation member of Winners Chapel. Now we start as a senior branch. So I, I don't understand the explanation. Say the mandate, the mandate. What is the mandate? Why they will say, make this man, make him retire. So, Jerry Eze, we need your prayer. Abiyoye needs your prayer now to survive. In his opinion, um, Bishop David Abiyoye is stepping down. He's, um, he's a testament to his faith and love for God. Of course, he has shown that he is a committed follower and a lover of God's work. So by stepping down, he is demonstrating that his work was never about, you know, personal gain or recognition, but about serving God and his people. Definitely, his reward comes from God, not from human. And as the Bible said, your reward is in heaven in the book of Matthew chapter 5, verse 12. Same Bishop Abiyoye, you know, stepping down and um, won't reduce his service to God. Of course, he will continue serving God in the best way he can, and to the church also. So let's take a, you know, a cue from Bishop Abiyo's example and focus on serving God with love and faithfulness, trusting that our true reward are waiting for us in heaven. Um, let's stop you know, spreading the demotion kind of thing. He's not being demoted from my own opinion. He, unless you want to you know, see it from my perspective that he was actually working for man, so he needs man to reward him. But if you see from you know, a Christian perspective, the reward are from God because throughout his service in Living Faith Church, Living Faith Church is God or then church. So he was working for God and the reward will come from God. So it's not a demotion, he's going to continue. And we are waiting for, you know, um, what next for him 